Hello, and welcome back. I have something very important to bring up today. I felt a strong urgency to say these words because I feel you might want to hear something good. First I want to mention that you are not alone in this at all. Everyone has to deal with this at some point. I have some suggestions so watch till the end. Are you afraid? Do you have a fear that is stopping you from living your best life? Preventing you from exposing yourself to new things, or new people? You are not alone. Fear. It was once said by President Franklin Delano Roosevelt. That the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Nameless, unreasoning, unjustified terror which paralyzes needed efforts to convert retreat into advance. We have all heard these words because they were used to prompt courage and prosperity in a time of great uncertainty. We all have fears. Fear of water, fear of the dark, fear of heights, fear of death. Fear of being alone, fear of losing your job, fear of flying, fear of being rejected, fear of getting hurt, fear of public speaking, fear of the dentist. Fear of thunder and lightning, snakes and spiders, and fear of the unknown. Something we can do to combat our fears is take them head on. And deal with it. Approach with our fight or flight instinct. But honestly for the majority of us we don't understand our fears. It can be near impossible to face something or ask the right questions about something we don't understand. That's when it's most important to talk to someone. Open the conversation that will lead to those unknown questions. And then you may understand a bit more. Here is what some people have done that have mastered their fears. Change their thinking. It is to my understanding that when we experience fear, our bodies behave in a certain way. Our heart starts racing, we start to sweat, our hands and feet become cold, also our pupils can dilate, and we can become anxious. Now what if at that moment in time we had the ability to change our thinking? Those symptoms I just described are also the same ones to describe excitement. Are you able to change your mind from being afraid to being excited in a matter of moments? Right now think about a moment you were really proud or excited. It could be at your wedding. When a child was born. When you took your first road trip. Or went to your first concert. You can remember that moment when you're going through instances where you are experiencing fear in social situations. Then you will conquer those spiders. You can even make a game of it. For example. When I was 8 years old. I was in the Cub Scouts. One of the things we had to do was go door to door and speak to people we didn't know and attempt to sell popcorn. For the first little while of doing this, I had my mom with me. Then it was just my oldest brother and I until eventually I could go by myself. I remember going to the first door with my mom. How scared I was. But having someone with me at the beginning that I trusted made it easier. When I finally was able to go by myself, I turned it into a game. I completely forgot how scared I was at first. I soon began to see how many houses I could go to in an hour. The point of the story is you can find someone you trust to walk with you while you take your first steps to conquer your fear. A friend, a family member, a therapist, a doctor, anyone you can trust. Today is a great day to say your fear out loud. Ask yourself if it's a logical fear. Then move forward. If you feel hopeless and you want to give up, don't. Keep going and the path will take you to an opportunity. You got this. I hope you enjoyed this video today, my goal is to enrich your life with great things to surpass all the negative in the world. Like the video, subscribe, and leave a comment if you wish. Until next time, go get those spiders.